so we have already understood a lot about the docker and in this chapter it's a very small one we are just going to see how i can use the docker uh, the docker hub as the main repository and i should be able to pull and push the images so it's a very small one and will not take much time but it is very important so as simple the number one thing you have to do is that you have to have a active login on the docker hub so which i have so i will highly request you to create your login on the docker hub if it is still not there so i'm already logged in using my credentials fair enough and these are some of the images which i have for this lab so but you should be able to do a login from the docker cli so, so the command is very simple just give docker login it will ask you for your login name and the password so i'll do it for you here so i'll just log in on the machine i give the command docker login so docker login will ask me for my login name so i will give the login name i just need to check my ips i hope it is it seems it's not working yeah so i'll just connect myself fair enough I'll just for the sake of convenience i'll just do a control c do a login again so it will ask me for the login name and the password because it's already saved my configuration in the docker config.json so i am not prompted for the username password so number one thing you should be login successfully and you should be getting this message once it is done you can upload any of your images from the local repository using so i'll just tag one image here say anything and just remember the naming convention the naming convention is username slash image name right so i can use the image tag option here so if i go here and see my docker images which images i have got so i've got these images so let me tag this one centos apache 2 right so i just need to give the command docker image tag and all this is with you in in the slides right docker image tag the original image name hello world as in the slide and then the new name so i give docker image tag say i use alpine just use because it's the smallest one and then i give alok rn slash check alpine anything yeah and then network nuts alpine so what it does if i give the docker images command again it gives me a image here right alok rn and an alpine so it's the same image just a new tag the second step is that i should be able to upload it so that i can use the doc image push command so because i am already logged in it will automatically go into my account so i give here docker image push and alok rn slash and an alpine it's going there repairing depending upon your network speed and depending upon the size of the image it will take time but don't worry eventually it will be there so we can confirm it by going in uh, onto the browser and checking it perfect it's there so i can confirm it if i just do a refresh here guys i'm doing a refresh on my account so here it is docker alok rn and an alpine i hope you are able to see it now let's do one small thing also how can i download an image so let, what i'm doing in the lab also i had shown it i'm going to explicitly here it's the screenshot i'm going to remove it and then we'll try to pull it so i'm, I'm going to remove this so this is the id i copy it i give the command docker image remove and paste it oh sorry so it has got uh, some child images because the alpine is already there so i can use another one say my world is also there i hope let me see yeah my world so let me remove the my world for this lab this one so if there is no 
conflict i should be able to remove it yeah it's being removed so i give docker images there is no my world image here so how can i download it it is still there in my repository right on the docker hub so i just need to give the name alok rn slash my world and pull here it is in the slides also pull docker pull alok rn and my world so i should be able to download it into my local repository so i give docker pull alok rn hello world so currently i don't have this so it will be downloaded from the my account on the docker hub this is how you download it oh what's the name just a minute let me see my hyphen world i should be able to get it yes obviously i will not be able to pull it because the name is my world not hello world so just do it it's it will pull it from the repository and you will be getting it in the your local repository my world so it it was not hello world which i was doing so this is how you should be able to upload a image into your account and should be able to download it and obviously when the image is in your repository on docker hub it's something like the github you can share it with your team members also so in the next chapter we will be learning more into the networking components of docker thank you very much i'll see you in the next class